Congra yeah. congratulations on tonight. Thank you very much. So, yeah, tough game. How are you finding life at Blantorn and life in Belfast? Um, still trying to adapt in every way, you know, to, to a new city, um, being away from home. But I think my, my new teammates have, have definitely helped me settle in. Um, really happy with how everything's going so far, training, etc. So, can't complain. Great start for me. Tell, tell us how your move to Glantorn came about. Um, it's been out. It's been. It was an ongoing negotiation for months, for a few months. Um, I played a few international games and a few uh, European League games last year, and someone from the Glantorn club just contacted someone who let me know. Um, we basically got in touch, and they showed their interest for me. And it just it just went on from there, to be honest. Did you know much about the club? And um, you speak to Desi Curry or anyone like that? So yeah, uh, back home I spoke to Desi Curry quite a lot, um, quite a bit about the, the club. He obviously he explained everything. So he told me it's a massive club, a lot of great history with this club, and the fan base is is very good as well. So, but I already knew a bit about the club, so I knew I knew it was a a big move and the right move for me to to get. In. To, to get into this team. You've won caps and I think you've played against the likes of Denmark and Switzerland. What was that experience like in terms of concentration levels and everything that comes with playing? Teams so, like yeah, um, obviously going into the game against Denmark, Switzerland and that, it, um, it's a massive game. So when it comes to these kind of games, I think my concentration and my, my preparation is is quite good. So, you know, it helps with the nerves as well. So I've played against uh, big teams, big names. So. I, it, it's good. It's good for pre preparing for for big games like this. Mm -hmm. And another big game next week, Motherwell, Scottish Premiership side. Yeah, uh, we're all obviously we're all pretty happy about that. We know it's a massive game for us, big game for the club as well. The fans obviously are, are excited for that. We know that. Um, we just wanted to get through tonight though. Um, we knew it was a big game. They are they are a great team. This team, they've won a lot of games back home, and they over the weekend they they sent us a message with how many goals they scored. But um, we're just taking one step at a time. We just obviously got through tonight, and now we're going to concentrate, get back in training for next week's um, game against Monaco. Obviously, you're going to go into the tie as underdogs. Fair to say that. Um, does the fact that in the past, and you'll be aware of this better than anyone, a team from Gibraltar beat Celtic, um, does that give you some sort of hope that anything in football can happen? Yeah, I think um, in general anything in football can happen. I think uh, there's less pressure on us if we go in as underdogs, but I don't think we're considering ourselves as underdogs. We know we, we know we have a big chance of, of playing well with winning, so it can work to our advantage, but we, we don't see ourselves as any underdogs in any way. And you are aware that you've taken over from a legend here at Plantour and Elliot Morris? <laughs> Yeah, I do know that. Um, listen, I'm, I'm I'm trying to learn as much as possible from him. I I, tr I try like a like a sponge, I try and absorb everything he he teaches me. So I mean, before coming here, I knew he was a, a legend in his club, and it's a uh, big shoes to fill. And I I hope I, I fill those shoes. Well, you made a very important save just after the break. That must have given you a lot of confidence for the rest of the match. Yeah. Um, obviously, the conditions weren't great tonight, so I wasn't I wasn't risking anything with the uh, with the catch in. So and push as far away as possible and get rid of the danger. But overall, it was a good performance in the team. A solid, uh, we were a very solid defensive display. So uh, I think it was a great team effort. And you must have been encouraged. I mean, it's the first time a lot of you guys have actually played competitively together. <coughs> you must have been encouraged by that. Yeah, um, but we've adapted well with each other in training. Um, we're, we're on stop with each other. So on off the field as well, we, we always spend a lot of time together. So I think we've adapted that chemistry very well and in just in time for the game tonight.